Reading the final edition of his scandal hit tabloid, The News of the World, media baron Rupert Murdoch pulls in to his London headquarters this lunchtime. The billionaire has flown in to take control of the phone hacking crisis, amid fears his 100% buyout of Britain's biggest pay TV network could be in jeopardy. The takeover of B-Sky B is subject to government approval, which the opposition Labour Party insists should now be overruled or at least delayed. When the public have seen the, the disgusting revelations that we've seen this week, the idea that this organisation, which engaged in these terrible practices, should be allowed to take over B Sky B to, to get that 100% stake without the criminal investigation having been completed, and on the basis of assurances from that self-same organisation, frankly, that just won't wash with the public. After 168 years on the newsstands, the news of the world's last headline was simply "Thank you and goodbye." At the same time, around 200 staff kiss goodbye to their jobs. It remains to be seen how many of the five million copies will be sold or if calls for a public boycott of the disgraced publication will succeed.